Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a after dark clean with me. I thought I would just kind of go through and pick up the house. It's that in between time. I do a entire house clean every week, but I kind of find that in the middle of that week, I really need to do a nice little pickup. So that's kind of what this was. Um, just making sure that, you know, the bed got made. I do try to do that in the morning, but sometimes it happens in the evening like this. But even if it does, I still like to make our bed. Even if it ends up happening, you know, an hour or two before we go to bed, it's such a good feeling to go to bed with a bed that's made. So I encourage you that even if it happens right before you go to bed to kind of straighten up the blankets and covers, it really helps me have a good night's sleep and a good way to wake up in the morning when things are all cleaned up. So the day before this was a really busy day and so was this one and I didn't really get my like normal daily routine going on. I have a video about that. I will leave the link in the description box for my daily routine. So this is kind of like my daily routine all compiled into maybe two hours. Um, just trying to get everything kind of caught up and ready for the next day. I never needed you to give me things. I never needed you to Also, if you see that box on the floor there, I actually had ordered scrunchies for the girls and they love to dress alike right now. And each of those bags has 60 scrunchies of every shade imaginable, but then they can each match and they have all the shades they need for different outfits and that kind of thing. They were so thrilled with them. I still need to find a way to store them. So we'll see how that goes. Before I tackled the kitchen, I decided to make myself a cup of decaf. This is one of my favorite parts of my nighttime routine. I love having a nice cup of decaf and I've been loving these crazy cups. They're from Amazon and they come in a huge pack of all mixed flavors. So if you're somebody that likes flavored coffee and likes variety, it would be perfect for you. I like to be able to have a different flavored coffee every night. And like I said, they do come in decaf and they also come in regular. So even if it's something Thing you would like on a regular basis but this is kind of like my dessert I don't eat a lot of dessert in the evenings so I normally do this and then I add a little bit of my powdered stevia and this powdered stevia lasts me like oh my goodness over a year because you use such a small amount and plus I think it tastes really good I recently did a quick little giveaway of one of these frothers on my Instagram stories. Um, I'm kind of starting to do that. A few of my Amazon favorites every now and then just doing a fun giveaway to give back to you guys. And I know how much a lot of you love those frothers and use them yourself. They are so handy and the batteries really do last a long time in them.
there's a question that I get a lot and I thought I would go ahead and answer it. Um, so I get a lot of like method products and things like that to clean and I order mine from Grove but you can also purchase them at Target. And the question that I get a lot is, is it worth it to order it from Grove? You know, what is the price difference? As far as I am aware, the prices are the same as my Target. But the bonus that you have with ordering from Grove is they send you a lot of free products. So why not, you know, get those bonus little products? It is $20 a year for a Grove membership. But in your first order, you get all of that back in the products that you receive free. And then throughout the year, they give you even more free products. So you receive more than double what your membership cost is. Plus, you get free shipping with your membership. So I don't know if I've ever explained that or if I did, it was a really long time ago. So that is the reason that I like to order from Grove. I've ordered from them for over two years and it just makes more sense to be able to get little things here and there that are free. Um, so yeah, I thought I would go ahead and address that. But a little side note, I love this little dish strainer, strainer, colander thing that's in my sink. I actually picked it up at Ikea the last time I was there and it's so handy. I'm not a big fan of a full size dish strainer, but this is perfect for like little things and you know, the stuff that doesn't quite fit in the dishwasher. It works out awesome. Plus you can dump like noodles in it and that kind of thing. So it definitely fits my space perfectly. So the next time you're there, you might want to check it out. I think they were like $4 or something. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle Of the future and what's been Guess it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm alone I got it All right, so I told you what I like to do for my decaf coffee. Now, this is what I've been doing for my regular coffee. So Amazon has these reusable K-cups in a pack of 12. They're super inexpensive, and I just refill them and throw them in this little basket. I normally use a French vanilla coffee. That's our favorite one to have in the morning, and it's been saving me a lot of money because I can refill these quite a few times with a full bag of coffee um, versus is, you know obviously throwing them away and someone had asked me if they work in all size k-cups and yes they do and I wash them in my dishwasher um, whenever we're done using them and then just refill them when they're all empty I know I've been talking about it a lot, but are you guys excited for my spring decorate with me? That will be coming this week. I'm really, really excited to put everything together for it. And I may actually do two of them, two videos, but the first one is gonna be focusing on the living room and the kitchen area. So 
So like I said, this day I was playing a little bit of catch up and I actually had two loads of laundry. If you guys watch me often, you know that I generally like to fold my laundry in my laundry room on top of my washer and dryer. But I decided since I had two loads this day and it was a lot, <laughs> I would just go ahead and do it in our dining room. I hope this gave you a lot of motivation and encouragement to jump into your week and get your things done. If you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribed, joined my channel. I do lots of motivating videos, mommyhood, DIYs, that sort of thing. And I'll see you guys in my next video.